Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So we are here in Village Zoo in franchise mode and we're going to continue on building our little zoo type project thing that we've got here. Um, as I mentioned in the last episode, uh, if you haven't already watched those, do check them out. It explains a lot more about the zoo and you can get to see uh, what we've built so far. These are the first couple of exhibits. Uh, yeah, so as I mentioned there, it's going to be a little bit here, there and everywhere in terms of the themes and all that kind of stuff. It's basically a test for the game. Uh, so don't expect this to be a, sort of a cohesive theme, uh, but we are just testing out a few bits. So let's jump into a time lapse and let's get building. Okay, so the first thing that we are starting today is a little bit of stuff around this entrance area. So I thought it'd be nice to get in a new building um, and sort of make a little food court area. I was going to build this over sort of the back of the zoo, um, but then I, I thought I'd move it here. I mean, we can always put more stuff around the other side, um, but it is going to be a relatively small place. So um, yeah, I think it works quite well here at the entrance. Uh, we put in a gulpy... Uh, soda and also a chief beef uh, and then we just got of tediously put in um, kind of a hybrid building between India and Africa it's a little bit here there and everywhere as I mentioned before uh, but I'm just trying to get used to the themes um, obviously at the moment uh, we still haven't unlocked everything in this franchise mode so we're just trying to make things kind of match but like I said there's not a real sort of strict cohesive theme in this place uh, it's just a little bit of everything um, just while we test a few bits out as that ultimately is what we are here for so quite a simple building uh, nothing exciting we do change the roof out in a second for a little bit more of a, um, a well something that suits and makes it look a little bit nicer a few little bit of set dressing here there nothing much um, and then we put a little planter out the front so nothing too spectacular. Uh, the main bit of beef from today's build is we start work on the savannah. I did mention in the last episode, um, so towards the sort of back uh, of the zoo, straight on from the main entrance, is where we are building um, our savannah area. Um, this is the area where we might put in one of the tracked rides, which I think we might start in the next episode, just because we haven't had a little play with those yet. Uh, I believe we've got the train unlocked currently. If not, we'll have to research it, but I think we have. I'll double check that between uh, <laughs> between this one and next uh, next time. Uh, but I think it'd be nice to have a little play with that. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure you can actually you can access the little jeep ride in um, the beta. So potentially that is something else we could unlock uh, and put in. Um, in terms of uh, sort of the size, it's not the ma it's not the biggest savanna area which you potentially could have. Uh, but like I say, we'll, we'll get on to that in a few moments and we'll get building it. Uh, it it's not going to house... Um, I mean, we've got two different species in the area by the end of today's video. Uh, so we might open it up to a, potentially another savanna with some bigger animals if we if we do a track ride. Again, I don't know. This whole park is just a testing ground. And we can try and take the best bits of this and put it into our real zoo once the game launches in November. Um, so that is, I can keep mentioning, I just want to make sure you guys are clear on this, uh, that this isn't going to be a full-on build series like we do in Planet Coaster because we haven't got the time. Uh, we have only got about another week left of the beta. Um, so we don't have much longer to get building. Uh, and this is just going to be, like I said, a test for between now and the uh, well, the end. And then all the all the stuff that we've learned, we will put into our main series once the game launches. So yeah, this is the area we are putting in our savannah. You can see the kind of rough outline in the the terrain there. So it's not it's not massive, but it's also not tiny. Um, I wanted to dig down a little bit, so um, from the peep perspective, you are kind of looking down on it, uh, and then it gives us the uh, the sort of element of. Uh, well, it gives us the uh, options to maybe put an, uh, an over a walkway going over this area at some point if we want to. Uh, so that's something we will potentially look at down the line. Again, let's test it out so we can see what works and what doesn't. Um, here, I was just double checking a few bits and pieces to see what animals uh, kind of live together because ideally I wanted animals that go together. So that's why we decide on. We go for the... Uh, let me try and remember what it is. I think it's the sable antelope and the common warthog are the two that we put in here. 
um, now, at the moment. Uh, we might have something else in there eventually, like a buffalo or something like that. Uh, but currently, those are the only two. Just while I uh, sort of get some more of those, uh, what are they called? Not education points, conservation points. Yeah, we need to work on getting a few more of them. Uh, so what we might do in either off camera or in the next episode is go through some of our original exhibits and maybe get rid and not get rid that sounds wrong uh, maybe trade a few animals to clear out a bit of space and also uh, so sort of get get some of those conservation points in uh, we'll see if it's better to trade them or release them to the wild and yeah make a bit of bit of, bit of dollar a bit of money um, but that's what we'll probably do next time so in here just a little bit of light foliage there's not much you can do in a savanna this is probably a little bit too green if we're being honest uh, i try to put the greenery around the, the kind of shaded areas uh underneath trees around the rocks just to give it a little bit of uh, oh no, can't i don't know say realism um but yeah that's what we go for and um, here at the back we put in an enclosure uh, in the sorry the shelter uh, we do go back and change this slightly in a few minutes as you'll probably see uh, we do expand the barrier out towards the back and then we do put in uh, a building that backs onto this uh, fake rock work uh, to add a little bit of realism as there are good well there will be quite a lot of animals in this area so it makes sense for there to be a kind of utility building attached uh, it's not going to be actually usable or serviceable in the game uh, as uh, i learned from this you can only have one entrance into each exhibit uh, I was gonna put another one here so it kind of looked real in the end we just put a building around it uh, and add a few fake doors so this would be the entrance in if it was a real life zoo where the animals would actually come in and out uh, we put like quite a big door on it um, but in reality it's just more hardcover to um, cover up the back of this we cover it with rock work uh, quite conscious to make sure you can't see it from the guest view as I do want I don't want the immersion to be ruined um, but the way it kind of goes down, it does help, and it also adds a little bit more to our hard shelter. So hopefully, most of the animals that we add into this savanna area should be covered, and we shouldn't have to build any more shelter. Um, if we have to expand it out the front a little bit more, that's fine, we can do that. Uh, but yeah, I think it works quite well. It gives that little bit of backstage, which we do in our Planet Coaster park so it makes sense to get that realism here in the zoos as well uh, and it's the first time that we've managed to actually do that like i said we are testing this thing uh, so we're going to take all these ideas and and put them into practice once the game launches a couple of enrichment items in here and we do begin to get the research uh, cracking quite a lot on uh, in this episode uh, so we do get some more um animal and vet research done um, here I was just checking the uh, enclosure you can put in one of these heat maps to have a look at um, any weak spots to see if they are going to jump or anything like that it's a little bit funky when you do it in pause mode because it doesn't really update in real time which took me a couple of minutes to figure out um, but once I got there it's quite easy to use so there's a little um, the, the the not white what were they red <laughs> the little red icons that come up on the heat map is basically showing you an area uh, that the anim uh, the animal can jump out uh, so it's, it's really useful actually to see where the game thinks there's weak spots uh, it's a little thing that i didn't even know existed uh, so there's all these little bits and pieces we're still learning um so yeah it's, it's exciting times I'm really enjoying it so far um, so here we're putting in another little specific area for the keeper we hired a new keeper as well uh, we also put in this turned into kind of a new little employee path as well in a second where we add in i think it was another um, mechanics workshop and also a staff room as people were moaning that there's not enough staff rooms um, so we had a few more in um, Again, I think in the in the real zoo that we have, we need to think about the layout a little bit more. Um, and we need to add a little bit more space between the paths and the enclosures. And I've kind of everything's kind of a little bit boxed in. Um, which, you know, if this was real, I think a lot of the guests would feel like they're in a cage because they're kind of walking between two enclosures. Um, so yeah, I've kind of squashed things up a little bit too much in in sort of in hindsight, but. Uh, it, it's fine, like I say, we're trying to just cram as many different animals as we can in here at the moment to just see how they work 
uh, how they get on with each other and yeah how we can make the enclosures the, the, the best they can be uh, and I think it turns out relatively uh, relatively nice actually this one uh, my original plan was to do a kind of non barriered enclosure but it just I don't think I'm quite there yet <laughs> that might be something we try in the next episode to try and do something a little bit different rather than having the uh, actual barriers there I think we'll do something where it's hidden and which we just kind of use rock work and uh, maybe just the sheer drop of the terrain to make the enclosure so that's something we're going to work on i think next time um just to try something a little bit different um so yeah i was just thinking of what other animal we could quickly add into this savannah area and what hog works they all live together so it makes sense to have a couple of little animals in there it's the first enclosure we've built with multiple species um, and the Zoopedia built into the game does sort of explain that process to you and shows you which animals can live together. Uh, and certain animals will have uh, will get enrichment sort of points and percentages from living with different species as well. Uh, so it's, there's quite a lot to think about. It's not just about putting down your food and drink. There is a lot more stuff that goes into a happy enclosure. And um, so I think yeah, we're pretty much there uh, with this first sort of phase of the savannah like i mentioned there will be probably a few more animals added into this and we might try the track rides next time uh, so yeah that's about it for the time lapse let's have a look around this in real time okay let's have a quick real time look at what we've done today uh, so the main thing is we've started work on our big savannah area now this will improve as time goes on but it's just a little start today um, in here we've got the sable antelope and the common warthog uh, just as a little uh, sort of start to the savannah um, over here will be a new staff facility area again this will all be in a nice building we're starting to finish this one and also the uh, over the uh, zebras we need to finish that building too uh, but then over the back over here we've got the first of our sort of realistic areas um, this building in the grand scheme of things would be what houses a lot of the backstage of the animals in in the reality it is just sort of more underneath shelter for them um, however it kind of gives that little realistic view as the guests will never see this kind of back area uh, so uh, we're trying to get a little bit of the realism in this and i've been very sort of careful to make sure that, that uh, all those buildings are hidden from the sort of guest perspective um, so that's the sort of angle we're going to go for. Again, it's just kind of testing stuff. Uh, we added a few more little bits of education around this area, some screens and also some audio. And we've started the research. So the more research we do, uh, the more information uh, we give to our lovely guests. Uh, so that's the, the main thing we've done today. Let's say we will tar up the staff areas uh, of the next uh, couple of episodes uh, the other thing we did right at the beginning we did put in this new food court i already had a little chief beef here but i thought i'll put something a little bit nicer in so we've got this nice planter and this sort of food court and drink stand right at the entrance uh, just to give it a little bit more uh, something uh, as you come into the park uh, into the zoo rather uh, so yeah that's about it for what we've done today um we're keeping an eye on all the other animals making sure they are all happy we've been continuing on with the research uh, wild dogs if i can go over here has got the most research so far that's uh, got a load of information on that uh, and it's cleared out the sort of congestion that we had up this path by expanding out uh, by putting in the nice savannah at the back so all in all that is how our zoo is looking so far so it is coming on nicely we've got a few more areas here to put some more stuff and also a few more areas over this side um but yeah well, i think we're getting there now money is steadily coming in we're making um mostly a profit which is good uh hold on animal close to death why let's call a vet thirsty we'll go get a drink then you weird little thing very strange uh, so yeah we are generally making uh, a decent amount of money 
Uh, and I think it's coming along quite nicely. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode. If you have, don't forget to give us a like down below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, fancy a chat, don't forget to give us a comment down below if you've got any thoughts or suggestions with how this zoo is going so far. Uh, so there'll be another episode in the next couple of days, guys. But thank you ever so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.